Hi everyone, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing well. Inshallah. In this video, I'm going to watch a video of Dr. Zakir Naik. Many of you recommended me to watch especially this video. And it is a video that Dr. Zakir Naik made when he was in Qatar during the World Cup. It is a conversation between a Christian woman and Dr. Zakir Naik. And they are going to talk about Islam. So let's dive into the video directly and let's watch the video together. Yes, sister, most welcome. Can I have your name and your profession and a question, sister? All right, so my name is Rose and I work for Qatar Airways. My question is, I've heard you talk about religion so much and I'll speak of the Bible because that's what I'm aware of. You say, you talk of Jesus as religious leader. But as far as I'm concerned, Jesus did not come to introduce any religion. Neither is he a religion, religious leader. What Jesus introduced in this world was the kingdom of God. The second question, maybe you can elaborate, uh, which religion is God? Because as far as I do research, I've come to understand that Jesus, who is my Lord and my Savior, he did not introduce any of those. He introduced the government of heaven. In other words, he wanted to colonize the world like, with heavenly power. There's a lot of controversies. The other question is... Sister, please pose one question at a time. I already posted two questions. After the answer, you can have the next question. Okay. One question at a time. The sister has two questions. And I believe the sister is a Christian. She said that I said Jesus was a religious leader. I never said that. I never ever said Jesus, peace be upon him, was a religious leader. I said he was a messenger of God. There's a world of a difference between messenger of God and religious leader. A messenger of God is far superior. We have many religious leaders in the world today. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God. And you said in your question that he is your Lord and your Savior. Yes. First, let me tell you, sister, Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was one of the mightiest messengers of Almighty God. We believe that he was the Messiah, which is translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslims and the Christians, we are going together. But one may ask, then where is the parting of faith? The parting of faith is that most of the Christians believe, including yourself, that we come to know from a question, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. And most of the Christians believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. Let me remind you, sister, I'm a student of comparative religion. I've read the Bible. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. If, sister, you can point out a single unequivocal statement from anywhere in the Bible, a single unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me, I, Zakir Naik, am ready to accept Christianity today. I have heard you sir, saying that I am not times. speaking on behalf of the other Muslims. I am ready to put my head on the guillotine. There uh, is not a single unequivocal statement. Hear my question clearly. Hear my challenge clearly, sister. There is not a single unambiguous statement, not a single unequivocal statement, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says worship me. Yes, sister. I have an answer to that, sir. Yes, in the book answer. of John, the Bible says that in the beginning was the Word, the Word was God, and the Word was with God, and the Word became flesh. What I want you to... Wait, no, wait, wait, that? wait, 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 sister. That does not fulfill my challenge at all. 
you, you name the book, I will give you reference. You are quoting from Gospel of John, chapter number one, verse number one. And the word became flesh in verse number 11, 12, 13. You are quoting only the book, I am giving you chapter number, verse number. I answer what, me, wait, wait, the I'm, word became God. But what does that pulled, say? Sister, were these the words spoken by Jesus, peace be upon him? And the answer is no. What is my challenge? Not a single unequivocal statement. Not a single unambiguous statement. From anywhere in the Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says. Himself says means that should be in red letter. There is something called as red letter Bible. If you are a Christian, you may be aware of it. Red letter means Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself said. Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 1 to 13 is not in red. I'll answer it. Wait here, let us answer it. First of all, you have not fulfilled my challenge. It should be Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself says. These are not the words of Jesus. It is the word of a Jew by the name of Philo. Correct? It's the word of a Jew by the name of Philo. And sure. never ever did he claim divinity for this. Yet, I will help you. What does it say? In the big, anyway, your quotation was incorrect. I will give you the verbatim quotation. Gospel of John, chapter number one, verse number one says, In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. And later on it says the word became flesh. If you agree that the word is God and if you change word is to God, in the beginning was word becomes in the beginning was God and God was with God. Do you mean to say there were two gods? No, because let, the word let of me God, complete. sir. Let me complete. You pose the question. You pose the question, I'm taking You don't allow people to give answers. You, are, you pose the question, I'm giving the answer. After I finish the answer, you can speak. You can't interrupt. Did I interrupt you when you were speaking? Did I interrupt? Yes or no? Now oh. when I'm giving the answer, why are you interrupting? Let me finish the answer, then you can answer. Point number one, you didn't fulfill my challenge. It is not the word of Jesus. Your whole argument goes out. Yet I'm answering. You did not tell, you should say, sorry, Dr. Zakir, it is not the word of Jesus. Did you say that? No. You are not honest. Tell to the, tell to the audience, these are not the words of Jesus, peace be upon him. Am I right or no? You don't know. See, you are quoting and you don't know. I am a student of comparative religion. These words are not spoken by Jesus, peace be upon him. Yet I am answering. If you say the word is God, and if you substitute words with God, it means in the beginning was the word, becomes in the beginning was God. God was with God. Were there two gods? And the answer is no. I'll give you a third answer. If you read the original manuscript, the first time the word God is used, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God. It is hothios. Hothios in Greek and Aramaic means the God. The second time the God is used, it is tonthios. Hothios means the God, Almighty God. Tonthios means godly person. But unfortunately, in the translation, they are taking you for a ride. You go to the original manuscript of Gospel of John, chapter number one, verse number one. The first time the word God is used, it is Hothios, meaning the God. Second time it is used, it tontheos means a godly person. So it reads, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the God. And the word was a godly person, meaning a messenger of God. Mister, do you understand? No. This is called, you don't understand English. That's you tell me what English, I said is wrong. I am quoting your scholars. I am quoting your, you pick up any Bible, of red letter Bible. These words are not in that point number one. You go to the Greek and Arabic. Do you know Greek, sister? Do you know Greek and Aramaic? Was the Bible revealed in English? Was the Bible revealed in English, sister? Yeah, um, it was Greek. Greek and Aramaic. So the original word is hothios. Do you know what is the meaning of hothios? Go home and Google. Hothios, maybe I'm pulling a fast All right, one. Sir. All right, wait, wait, sir. wait, wait. Hothios it means the God. Tontheos means a God, godly person. 
That means even if I agree, it says Jesus can peace be upon him was a messenger of God. Do you believe in that? No. He's, bi- he's bigger than messenger. He's not just a messenger. It's an sister, insult to sister, call my Lord sister, a messenger. Sister, sister, I ask We you will what, do something to prove something, sir. But first say that what you quoted is wrong. You agree it is wrong, then we go to the next question. I don't agree. That means what you said is it's not word of Jesus. That means you're fooling the people, right or wrong? Did you... you you thought I did not know, correct? No, I'm, I'm not here to demonstrate knowledge, sir. I'm it here is not to the demonstrate question of knowledge. It is the question of Bible. You believe Bible is the word of God, correct? Yes, I do. I don't believe it is the word of God. Even though you believe the Bible is the word of God, I know Bible more than you, right? There is one thing to know the Bible. There is another thing to have the revelation of the Bible. Because you know, even when Jesus came, the people who did not understand who he was were religious leaders. They missed big time. Sister, they did not know who he was because sister, he was hidden. And the work of the New Testament. One place in the Bible where the un- un- unambiguous statement, unequivocal statement, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself, says, I am God, or where he says, Worship me. I am ready to accept Christianity. Simple challenge. And you can't show one verse from this big Can volume I ask of you the Bible. Question, sir. Can you separate yourself from your word? Sorry? Can you separate Dr. Zakai Naik from his word? Can you separate Dr. Zakai Can you separate Zakai yourself from your word? But what difference does it make whether I can or whether I cannot? You see? You don't get it. Jesus is the word of God made flesh. But word religious of... mind is too big for five senses. Jesus is the word of God and himself he is God. The Bible every, says he gave him the name me- that is above every other name, every, which is the word of God. Every messenger gets the word of God. Moses was the word of God. Jesus was the word of God. Abraham was the word of God. Prophet Muhammad is the word of God. Question. So what is the problem? Which of every the messenger, messenger did what Jesus at this time did? is the word of God. What is so different about Jesus, peace be upon him? You the cannot difference. point out a single statement from your Bible where Jesus said, I'm God, or where he says, worship me. I have, and now I you're have quoting... an answer for that, sir. Since the, the beginning of the word of, of the Bible, till the time of Jesus, tell me any of the messenger you call who was capable to cast out devils, to heal the sick. Why? Because in the beginning, it was only God who had power to deal with the devil from the fall of, the, from, of man in the Garden of Eden. But these sister, things were hidden for salvation sister, of men. If a person takes out devils from a person, does he become God? Today there are many people who do rukya yes, and they I take out devils. The they because don't become I've God. Been translated into the kingdom of God's dear son. Today, sister, there are many human beings, even in Qatar, you have who can do rukya and can take out devils from the human being. Because that does they, not make them God. Does they, it make they, them God? They got that power from Jesus. I cast out devils myself. Oh, in so the name of Jesus. Oh, so you also become God now? No, I, I have been translated because of my faith in Jesus. The I Bible agree says, with you. You, listen. you, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If you read the Bible, in the gospel, when he gives life to the dead Lazarus, he prays to Almighty God. Every miracle Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did, he did in the name of God. He didn't do on his own. If Same you would thing give the Bible me time, says. I will explain to all this congregation Sorry, we what don't is have, all we about don't have Jesus. the time. You can hire the hall mm-hmm. and tomorrow give a lecture. This is a question you and answer time. You did not answer me. Wow, that was an interesting conversation between Dr. Zakhar Naik and the Christian woman. The nice thing what I like... Uh, from Dr. Zakhar Naik is that he knows so much information and indeed it is so confusing in Christianity that there are so many translations and so many interpretations of the Bible that it becomes so confusing about what was actually meant to be the message in the Bible. But Dr. Zakhar Naik, he knows so much and he read the Bible, he knows the Bible I believe out of his head, all the verses and all the chapters, as well as the Quran, all the surahs. He has so much information and the Bible was not revealed in English. It is translated to English and it is translated in many, many, many different ways. 
that's why it makes it so confusing in Christianity. Before I was also looking into Christianity, of course, because I wanted to have information about all the religions, but it is just so confusing. And one Christian says this, the other Christian says that. There is just not one straight path or one straight line that you can follow in Christianity. And Dr. Sucker Naik said in this video that the Bible was revealed in Greek, so you should go out from the Greek words, what they were supposed to mean, what was the translation of the Greek language and not how people translated it later in English or in any other different languages. So it was very interesting to see for me. And that woman, I understand that she was just so sure about what she believes in and about what she learned about her religion. That's why the conversation got so much heated uh, because yeah, she just want to make a discussion with Dr. Sakir Naik while well, he has so much information about not only about Islam, but also about Christianity and other religions. So let me know what you thought about the video. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I want to thank you for watching this video together with me. And I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. Bye!